Scientists have uncovered high amounts of pure DDT off the LA coast. The dumping of the toxic pesticide is more widespread than expected. New research from UC Santa Barbara shows DDT is now covering a space larger than San Francisco near Catalina Island. And it turns out barrels of the acid waste that were dumped decades ago, well, it never broke down. Dr. Suman Radhakrishna joins us now with more on the potential health impact. And Dr. Sudhakrishna, talk about those potential health risks. I'm there's a lot about DDT that we don't know yet. Uh, some of the things that we are know for sure is from studies and data that has been collected over the years. DDT became uh, something we did not use anymore since 1972, but long-term studies showed that women uh, who had high levels of detectable D DDT had daughters who had problems with obesity and breast cancer, and not only their daughters, but their granddaughters also seemed to have problems with obesity and high cancer risk. Their ch sons, on the other hand, ended up with increased risk of testicular cancer, and there seems to be more linkage in association with other cancers. As time goes on, we'll know more about it. The problem is DDT has not broken down and it seems to be spreading more and uh, that is where the concern for public health comes because it's not just us, it's the animals that live in the ocean, the fish, the plankton, the other, um, other types of plants that are there in the ocean, all of them are exposed to DDT and if we were to consume these, it's still ongoing. Dr. Radhakrishna, you know, when you hear DDT, certainly uh, alarming, concerning, and very eye-opening. Is there anything scientists are still trying to learn about it? The studies are still ongoing, and uh, we still don't know the long-term effects because it was only in the 1970s that we decided to not use DDT anymore. There are still some parts of the world where they use DDT. DDT is cheap. It's easy to spread over large periods. Um, large areas and uh, it does reduce the incidence of malaria which is what it was mainly being used and uh, the more we know about it the better things will be yeah very good information dr suman radhakrishna from dignity health california hospital thank you for joining us and we appreciate your time thank you for having me